Hello again. Welcome to Section 2 Biology, Cell Division and Sex Determination. Here are the objectives. Take some time later on to go through them. The metodic phase. To make two daughter cells, the contents of the nucleus and the cytoplasm must be divided. Mitosis is divided into a series of phases, prophase, prometophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, that result in the division of the cell nucleus. During interphase, the cell undergoes normal processes, while also preparing for cell division. For a cell to move from interphase to the metodic phase, many internal and external conditions must be met. During prophase, the first phase, several events must occur to provide access to the chromosomes in the nucleus. The nuclear envelope starts to break into small vesicles, and the Golgi apparatus and endoplasmic reticulum fragment, and disperse to the periphery of the cell. The nucleolus disappears. The centrosomes begin to move to opposite poles of the cell. The microtubules that form the basis of the metodic spindle extend between the centrosomes, pushing them farther apart as the microtubule fibers lengthen. The sister chromatids begin to coil more tightly and become visible under a light microscope. During prometophase, many processes that were begun in prophase continue to advance and culminate in the formation of a connection between the chromosomes and cytoskeleton. The remnants of the nuclear envelope disappear. The metodic spindle continues to develop as more microtubules assemble and stretch across the length of the former nuclear area. Chromosomes become more condensed and visually discrete. Each sister chromatid attaches to spindle microtubules at the centromere via a protein complex called the kinetochore. During metaphase, all of the chromosomes are aligned in a plane called the metaphase plate, or the equatorial plane, midway between the two poles of the cell. The sister chromatids are still tightly attached to each other. At this time, the chromosomes are maximally condensed. During anaphase, the sister chromatids at the equatorial plane are split apart at the centromere. Each chromatid, now called a chromosome, is pulled rapidly toward the centrosome to which its microtubule was attached. The cell becomes visibly elongated as the non kinetature microtubules slide against each other at the metaphase plate where they overlap. During telophase, all of the events that set up the duplicated chromosomes for mitosis during the first three phases are reversed. The chromosomes reach the opposite poles and begin to decondense, unravel. The metodic spindles are broken down into monomers that will be used to assemble cytoskeleton components for each daughter cell. Nuclear envelopes form around chromosomes. Cytokinesis is the second part of the metodic phase during which cell division is completed by the physical separation of the cytoplasmic components into two daughter cells. A cleavage furrow is formed in animal cells, whereas a cell plate in plant cells. Cancer is a collective name for many different diseases caused by a common mechanism, uncontrolled cell division. Despite the redundancy and overlapping levels of cell cycle control, errors occur. The genes that code for the positive cell cycle regulators are called proto-oncogenes. Proto-oncogenes are normal genes that, when mutated, become oncogenes, genes that cause a cell to become cancerous. Tumor suppressor genes are genes that code for the negative regulator proteins, the type of regulator that, when activated, can prevent the cell from undergoing uncontrolled division. Sexual reproduction requires that diploid organisms produce haploid cells that confuse during fertilization to form diploid offspring. The process that results in haploid cells is called meiosis. Meiosis is a series of events that arrange in separate chromosomes into daughter cells. During the interphase of meiosis, each chromosome is duplicated. In meiosis, there are two rounds of nuclear division resulting in four nuclei, and usually four haploid daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. During meiosis, variation in the daughter nuclei is introduced because of crossover in prophase I and random alignment at metaphase I. The cells that are produced by meiosis are genetically unique. The cell division process of prokaryotes, called binary fission, is a less complicated and much quicker process than cell division in eukaryotes. Because of the speed of bacterial cell division, populations of bacteria can grow very rapidly. The single circular DNA chromosome of bacteria is not enclosed in a nucleus, but instead occupies a specific location, the nucleoid, within the cell. Two identical cells are produced from binary humans have 23 chromosomes, Sex chromosomes exist either as Xi, male, or XX, female. In some rare genetic disorders such as Klinefelter syndrome it is possible to have XXY, a male born with an extra chromosome. Only one chromosome is present in gametes. Therefore, during fertilization there is a 50% chance that male or female will be the sex of the offspring in each scenario as shown above. 
That is a summary of the cell cycle and sex determination. Thank you. Next video, Inheritance.